Santi, I, not your first rodeo, obviously, but still, I mean, is this as exciting as it gets in college basketball to stay these next couple of weeks? Yeah, for sure. Uh, the whole team, like, we play all year, mainly thinking about the big tournament. Uh, it's the most exciting part uh, of the year for everyone. Uh, we know how fun it can be to play in the tournament. Uh, I think, like Coach was saying, sometimes uh, we take for granted uh, making the tournament. Uh, I think it's a big accomplishment, the fact that we made it six years in a row. Uh, and it's really a really fun tournament to play in. Santi, since you haven't really played these guys, you know, it's, at this time of year it's all about matchups. How hard is it to prepare for those type of matchups? Yeah, it's definitely harder than playing teams that we played in the past or uh, that we're a little bit closer to them. Uh, playing teams that you don't really know uh, definitely gets a lot harder, uh, but we have a lot of trust in all of our coaches. Uh, they do a great job, uh, probably best in the country, uh, scouting other teams. They put a lot of work into it. Uh, and then uh, they just give us all the information we need to know, and they do a great job with that. What was um, Zakai's reaction when St. Peter's popped up there? Just his brother. Well, the funniest thing is that we kind of knew from before that it could have been an option. Uh, us playing St. Peter's and we were talking about it earlier. Uh, I told him, I was like, you're going to have to guard your, guard your brother. He was like, no, you got him. He's 6'5". <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, we love it. Uh, I think it's going to be a great moment for both of them. Uh, it's a really uh, game they're both going to enjoy playing against each other. Uh, you don't get to see that very often. And yeah, his reaction, like everybody just started yelling in the locker room. And I, he got on his phone right away, probably with him. Uh, so yeah, very fun moment. What's that? Is he giving you a scouting report on his brother yet? No, not yet. So, okay, growing up in South America, what was your perception or what, you know, how, how aware were you of, of the tournament? Funny enough, like, I didn't know much about it, uh, but I had one of my coaches uh, when I was, like, still, I mean, like, probably 15, uh, still at home, and he came up to us and he was like, hey, you guys should watch the March Madness tournament. Because uh, in that moment, he was talking about mainly defense. He was like, y'all should see how they guard uh, and that tournament is just incredible. And that was probably my first contact with the tournament. How have you seen Zakai grow as kind of a true pass-first point guard over the last couple of years? Uh, I think he has really evolved. Uh, I think he set the, high, the standard really high when he came in. Uh, came in into the fire and started playing right away as a freshman. Uh, gave us uh, a lot as a freshman. and. Uh, I'm really proud to see him like grow the way he did in the past years. Uh, he's been great, and I think he's one of the biggest pieces that we have in the team, and he makes the whole team run, uh, and just a great teammate to have next to you. Santi, is this the, the most equipped and most well-prepared <clears throat> team that you've been on here going into the NCAA tournament? Uh, for sure. I think every year, of course, you think that's the best team you've been a part of, and you have the best chance. Uh, I truly feel about this team this year the same way. Uh, I think we got all the right pieces, uh, and it, it could be really fun if we all clicked at the same time. Uh, we know now it's go time. Uh, now it's where uh, it really matters, and I'm very confident in the team that we're all going to do it. And yeah, I mean, defensively, we're the same team that we've been the past few years. Offensively, uh, adding guys like Dalton, uh, Jonas playing a lot better, Sakai figuring out the way too, and all the guys that have been playing great. Uh, I think that's going to help us a lot. And yeah. Anything else for Santi? What was your message to someone else who has never been in a tournament like Dalton, for instance, about what's going to be ahead, all the hoopla? Well, we haven't talked about it yet, to be honest. Uh, I think that's kind of conversations that we're going to have to have uh, in the next couple of days uh, before the tournament. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be very exciting. Definitely got to let them know that uh, this is like go time. Uh, there's no more room for error. Uh, stuff that we used to do that maybe you get away with during the season. Now it's like if you lose, you're going home, and uh, nobody wants that. So, yeah, got to get everybody on the same page. Uh, the guys that haven't been a part of, uh, let them know how hard it is to win in the tournament because uh, you get the best shot out of every single other team that you play. Uh, so, yeah, it's a very streaky tournament. If you don't show up one day, uh, you get knocked out right away. So we got to have to show up every single game. Would be good to get that lesson maybe? For sure. Uh, nobody wanted to lose that game, of course, but uh, I think it's definitely helped us uh, kind of imagine, first of all, the feeling that we had after that game. Uh, 
like we talked about in the locker room, knowing that if we get that feeling one more time, it means that we're, our season is over. So uh, for the, the guys, including me and all the rest of the guys, uh, just to know that we got to show up every single game. And now it's like either go or go home. Like you either play and show up or season is over. And nobody wants to finish it that way. Dodger, was there any reaction when you decided to possibly play in Coach Barnes' old school Texas in the second round? Uh, I don't think nobody said anything about it, but we all kind of saw it. Uh, as soon as they put Texas, we kind of thought that we were going to be a uh, two seed. And as soon as I saw that bracket pop up, before they, our name played, I was like, that's definitely going to be us. Like, I could definitely, I had that feeling that they were going to have us on the other side of Texas. And uh, I just think that uh, first we got to definitely focus on St. Peter's. Uh, that's we got to play one game at the time, but in case we do get past uh, first round and they do too, I think it's going to be a fun matchup knowing Coach Barnes' history in there. Thanks, 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 Thank you, guys.